Welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. So today we're gonna to talk about the difference between tone quality and sound. And I hope everyone had a great Christmas. New Year's coming up. I'm gonna show you two videos of me right now. One from when I first started making the videos. To now. So check it out. So the way that I think about tone quality and sound is pretty simple. Sound is like your foundation. It's like the foundation of a house. It's the overall foundation that makes the tone quality. Tone quality is the outside, it's the detail. Sound is your base. Without having a good sound, it's a lot tougher to have a great tone. But I will say that in certain scenarios, some people have great tones, but they don't have a great sound. I was one of those people growing up. I did not have a great sound, but I had a great tone. The real big difference between the two is just as simple as one's the foundation, one is like your meat, your base, your overall whole structure of your, of your instrument. And the other one is like, it's just more of like the outside layer. It's more of like paying attention to the details. So how do you get tone better? So there's no simple way to get your tone better. I think, you know, getting, getting a better sound is something that you can work on every day, but getting a better tone is something that's a lot harder to do. I'm gonna make a spot on the wall. You wanna stand about five to 10 feet away from it. Point your horn right at that spot and you wanna play right to that spot. And you wanna make sure that your sound is going to go right through that spot. If you practice that way, you're gonna find that, first of all, you're gonna think more about trying to get a chord sound, but you're also gonna use more air. And that's the biggest way to practice getting a better sound, is using more air and practicing long phrases and practice blowing through every single phrase. I'm going to say this again as a disclaimer, but pay attention. It does not matter what trombone you play on. Like you could play on a P-bone, you could play on a regular trombone, you could play on a beginner trombone. Like, it, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. Like. It'll make a difference to you, but it won't make a difference to the average listener. If a professional trombone player picks up a beginner trombone, they're gonna make that trombone speak, just like their regular trombone that they play on. Does that mean that, that they wanna play on that beginner horn? Does that mean that the beginner horn is just as good? No. You know, to a certain person, a beginner horn may feel a lot worse than a, than a professional trombone. But in terms of sound, you know, it's about the player, it's not about the horn. You should be able to make any horn ring, you should be able to make any horn sound good. Every single horn voices differently. Certain horns are gonna give you like a higher kind of range, and some horns are gonna give you like a lower type of sound or a bigger sound, you know? So, you know, it's experimenting with whatever horn you choose to play, and it's also to, you know, picking your mouthpiece. So, if you play on a mouthpiece that's wider, it's gonna give you like a lower sound. If you're playing on a mouthpiece that's smaller, it's gonna give you a higher sound. You know, why do you think trumpets can play higher than trombones? Because their mouthpiece is a lot smaller. For trombones, you can basically get like two types of mouthpieces. It's either like a cup mouthpiece or a uh, like more like a pea shooter mouthpiece. I'll put a picture right here so you can see. And the cup mouthpiece is gonna be obviously, you know, wider, but it's also gonna be bigger. So that, that cup is gonna make your sound a little bit richer. And then, you know, or it's a little bit darker as well. Um, and then, you know, the, the other mouthpiece is gonna make your sound higher. A lot of people, when they're playing lead in either like a jazz band or something like that, you know, a lot of times they'll switch mouthpieces during the show or during the gig. And that'll help them hit the higher notes and then they'll go back and they'll, they'll play on their original mouthpiece. I started making the videos four years ago. My sound has gotten so much better. You know, I, my equipment got a little bit better as well, but my sound has got so much better because I record myself, I listen back to myself all the time, I hear my mistakes, I hear, you know, certain things in my sound that I want to get better. So the more you listen to yourself, the better you're going to get, the better you're, you're going to know what you want to work on, you're going to know what you want to change, and you're going to know how to uh, go about the process of improving your sound. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications. As you can tell, I'm in my house right now, my original home home. We're not in Boston right now, we're in Norfolk, Massachusetts. 
But uh, hope everyone's enjoying this holiday season. I'll catch you on the next video. I hear temptation talking, ear whispers in my ear. I know you'll hear them voices. Tell me the things you hear.